Hi, I'm Katie Combs, and this is my senior exit project. This is, uh, backwards. I was born in Oceanside, and I have lived in Temecula for 14 years, where I've spent most of my young life. As you can see, I've always had things. Throughout my life, I've exhibited artistic qualities and interests, shifting from crayon wild doodles to oil paintings that take less than a few days to finish. Art is similar to life. You absorb knowledge from others and convey it how it best suits you. It matures with you, and the way that you present your talent is based on your experiences and development of your craft. Well, I originally intended to attend an art school and further my art career after high school. So, my plan was to take art all four years and gain as much experience before the real deal. The art program at Great Oak is worth so much praise than it gets. I wouldn't be where I am today if not for the instruction and practice I received from my teachers, especially Mrs. Sanders, who gave me not only helpful guidance, but college resources that led me to attend a pre-college program for Academy of Art University in San Francisco, where I also saw Hillary Clinton. I will be attending Cal State Fullerton in the fall 2015-16 semester, earning my Bachelor's of Arts with a concentration of illustration. Later, I hope to get my master's degree at a renowned art school like CalArts or Art Center. My passion is my career, and I will work hard to reach the goals I set for myself. Perhaps I'll even live in my dream city of San Francisco. service has been sporadic over the years. To be honest, I've done most of my work senior year, but partially because I would lose my community service slips every year. I've had most fun participating in events at the Temecula Civic Center with my best friend Kayla, in which we've had many weird and memorable experiences serving as food vendors and bell ringers. I've also participated in the yearly chalk art events for the VAPA showcases, which was grueling work in the sun, and somewhat of a sad experience witnessing all the students step all of our work. But it was great bonding time with my peers nonetheless. I find collaborating with my peers very fruitful when doing an assignment, whether it's sharing different viewpoints on the subject, including important information that could be useful to those who overlooked it or missed it, um, guidance to look for a more complex perspective, a lot of students groan at the mentioning of, like, group work, but I find it interesting to hear everyone's, you know, perspective and point of view on what we're working on. Collaborating is a very necessary tool all should learn to utilize for life outside of high school, I think. For me, it's hard to trust my partners, though. Um, it takes the entire group to be up to handling certain tasks and responsibilities, though I admit I've been the group member who slacks, who's tried too hard, who's bugged the heck out of everybody in a group message, or just cares too much and asks way too many questions. I've definitely learned that encouraging your teammates is better in retrospect than dominating the entire project to ensure a passing grade. That's probably the worst teammate you can be. After high school, I will attend CSU Fullerton and work towards my bachelor's degree in art. In between my years, I hope to intern for Disney Studios and apply there in the future, where I would work as a conceptual artist. Thanks for watching, and shout out to my inspirational teachers and friends who showed me to this amazing path I'm headed and offered me their support when I struggled the most. I'll miss them the most, and I'm sure they're all headed for great places alongside me.